Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LCGM007 and today we're looking at the Islands plugin. This is a really fantastic plugin which allows your players to purchase islands of different sizes, different biomes, and create them in the sky. So it's really easy to use, really easy to set up, and let's just jump into it. So before we get started with the in-game stuff, we actually need to set it up out of the game. So there's a couple of things you need. You need the grief prevention plugin. This will obviously protect everyone's islands. You must have this. The other thing you need is a world generator plugin. So the developer suggests void generator and that's going to create a world with nothing in it and then you can obviously spawn islands in it. So once you've downloaded those two things and the plugin, you can go ahead and start your server and then go into the islands folder and then go into the config file. Now all we need to do in here is just choose a world name. So I'm going to do server miner. And once you've set the name there, you can go ahead and save it. And then we also need to go into the server.properties. That is where we are going to change the name as well. So about halfway down on line 38, you've got level name. Go ahead and change that to the level that you just renamed in the plugin. And finally, we need to go into the bucket.yml. Go back to the wiki, copy and paste this bit here. And then at the bottom of the bucket.yml, paste it in and then replace island world name in those weird brackets with the name that you created. So server miner for me and then click save. Now once you've done all this, you can restart your server and it's obviously going to create a brand new world that's completely empty and then you'll be able to create all of your islands. So now that we're in game, the first thing you can do is for slash island help to show you all the commands. And you want to go to your spawn island and do for slash island make spawn island and that's going to set the global spawn point. Once you've done that there's a few other things you can do so if you're an admin you can do for slash island moderate and then you can either have a look at all the different islands or all the different players and which islands they own and then you can click on one to teleport to it. So I've teleported to my smallest island up here you can see I teleport on top of it and there are three different sizes of islands you can create. So if you do forward slash island create, it will give you a list of all the biomes. However, if you just leave it blank, then it will open up a GUI. And this is much easier to see all the different biomes and which one you might want to pick. So you could pick random or you could pick one of the specific biomes. Let's go with snowy tundra. And then we've got small, medium and big. And you can pick whichever one you want. They obviously can cost different amounts. And then we've got the amount below. And it says island generation event queued. If we do forward slash home, it's going to take us to our new island. And you can see it's over there and it is slowly but surely being created. It does it in uh, rows, so it takes quite a while depending on how big it is. And you can see in chat it says 25% complete. So I'm going to speed this up and then you can see the final product. So there's a few other commands that we might want to do if you do forward slash island name. And then let's call this one, I don't know, snowy. That will change the name of your island so it's easier to identify. And then what you can actually do is for slash island set spawn to just change the spawn point on the island. And if you don't want it anymore, you can do island give and then a player's username. And then you can do for slash island confirm. And that will actually change the ownership from myself to, well, myself in this case, but you could give it to someone else if you didn't want it anymore. You can also do island save to save the island as a schematic, uh, which is a really cool command and makes it much easier to save your your work. But maybe you're bored of it. If you do for slash island clear and then for slash island confirm, that will actually start the deletion progress. So it's not going to be deleted just yet. Once uh, a new island is created, it will start to be deleted uh, row by row, just like when it was made. If you do for slash island info, it just shows you a little bit about the uh, island you've created. And as you can see over there, the island is being destroyed row by row. So that is how you would use the plugin in-game. You can see it's really easy to use and create different islands of different types and sizes. So here we are on the Spigot page again. As you can see, it's updated for 1.15 and 1.16. It was actually updated yesterday. And you can see there is a ton of information. If you need any help, you can report uh, bugs on GitHub or Discord. There is a wiki. Make sure you go over there to see all of the information, commands, permissions, etc. Um, and then there's tons of screenshots if you want to know what it looks like. So overall, really fantastic plugin, really like it and would highly recommend it for your server. But if you do need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.